Hi there, it's Dan here from Flexible and today I'm gonna to talk about lead generation and the top tips for the new year. So let's get stuck in. All right, so the first tip, and this is my most obvious tip, it always is, and you've always got to remember this before anything, is that you need to have an offer that converts. <laughs> um, for example, if you wrote an ad that was giving away $10,000 for the first five people that put their email address and phone number and gave postcode and all that type of crap, you know, a hundred different things, okay? People are gonna do it within uh, about 30 seconds, okay? So that's one extreme, but if you're able to do that and find offers that really convert and people are excited, it's gonna make your job a hell of a lot easier. Um, and what goes hand in hand with that is is good creative, okay? So if you're able to, um, and you know, always talk about creative is king, all right? That's one of my taglines, I, I say it all the time. But if you're able to match that offer that converts, with really great creative and be able to do that a lot of a lot of times, okay, because ads fatigue and ads get, you know, go downhill or whatever, right? If you're able to combine those two, great creative, lots of creative with an offer that converts, everything else is is secondary to that. Okay. So leading on from creative is king or right? what we're seeing um, in lead generation in kind of in the underground parts of the lead gen world we're seeing people that are absolutely killing it doing six figures a day in lead gen and they're doing that um, you know not because they're anything special it's because they're leveraging tools to be able to help them with getting more creative up um, without having to do it manually. And we, um, we've done a whole video on this. You'll be able to find the link up here where we talk about Jarvis.ai and it'll enable you to be able to create, you know, let's say you have one winning ad, one winning headline, one winning create, um, copy, one, obviously they don't do images, right? But you can take that headline and copy on Facebook and spin it you know, 500 times if you want, and then you can you can match them with each other and do all sorts of cool stuff like that. Um, and then you can upload, you know, in the video that I showed before, you can actually take that copy and upload everything within, you know, do all of this within about 30 minutes and have thousands of different variations of ad, ads that you can give Facebook's artificial intelligence machine learning to be able to, um, you know, get really cheap cost per leads and get lots of variation with your, with your, um, with your ads. Okay, which is key. I see too many people um, running an ad and seeing it last for four or five days and getting results, and then fatiguing, and then everything just, you know, dying. Okay, and if you're not constantly updating, and Jarvis is an amazing tool to be able to do that without having to do it manually, then you're really, um, at, you know, you've got a real advantage in the lead gen game. Um, the next one is collection ads and instant experience ads on Facebook. We've been um, singing their praises for the last two years basically, but we see now because of the iOS issues and, and what's going on that, um, you know, the, it's, it's much easier if you can keep the traffic on Facebook for longer, all right, if they click on an ad. And a collection ad allows you to be, uh, you've probably seen them before, you scroll through your news feed and you see an ad that's got like an image and then four, uh, you know, four things to click that you could click below the image, okay? And what happens, it, you know, it could be how many kids have you got or how many um, clients have you got and one, two, three, four, whatever that is. If you click four, then it opens up a, um, an instant experience which can then they click on and engage with to go to a landing page. And these just work super well for some reason at the moment. Um, and they will continue to, to, to work well uh, in 2022 because people are staying and engaging on the Facebook platform rather than clicking off, okay? And we're seeing this more and more. Um, you know, we did this uh, for one of our campaigns. We saw uh, cost per lead reduced from $17 to $11. The cost per click go down from $4 to $1. And this happens um, all the time inside our community. So give collection ads a go. You might be pleasantly surprised. Okay, so the other thing you wanna focus on uh, in 2022 is diversification, all right? There's so many people that have built a whole business on Facebook, that Facebook platform. And they're probably feeling the pinch right now because of what's going on over there. And any, I've always said any agency or any business built on Facebook ads alone is, um, is not really a business because they can take that away from you quick smart. I've seen that done hundreds of times before as well. Um, so, 
There's many options out there for you. For example, one of my students had his Facebook account restricted. He WhatsApp me, I'm actually good mates with him now. And um, he, he did $197,000 in profit in November 21, okay, 2021. That's just insane. He's one, he's one man band. He gets up and he does some new creatives. He uses the Jarvis tool, I believe. Maybe even doesn't, doesn't even do that. But he gets up, gets his YouTube ads up each morning, does three or four new creatives, fire them into his account. Um, and it's just a one man band with a few freelancers. His overheads are tiny. He's in a few niches performance-based lead gen model, and he's absolutely crushing it with YouTube ads. So if you're uh, just relying on Facebook ads, there's YouTube, there's the display network, there's search. We've just done some great great training on search. If you, if you wanna know more about that, then comment below. Um, how to get search quality leads for Facebook ads price prices, okay? So um, then you've got Twitter ads. You know, there's so many different um, platforms av available to you, all right? One tip, and I learned this the hard way, so I've got a, a hiccups here. Don't try and do more than two ad platforms at once if you've got a small team, because you're you're going to get distracted. Um, you're never going to you're never going to do it at, at well enough. Um, you just spread too thin. So I'd get Facebook dialed in. If you've got Facebook, hand it off to your media buyer or whoever that is, and get another media buyer yourself to move into search or. TikTok ads or whatever the hell you want to do, um, and just focus on those two things only. All right, then get that dialed in, and then you might even be able to think about a third ad network, but probably not. Okay, I don't think you're you're going to need it because two ad platforms with um, you know there's probably going to be enough volume for you there anyway. Okay. Okay, so next tip, thank you pages um, inside funnels are becoming more and more powerful. Okay, uh, so let's say. Um, you know, there's a few things you can do here. Let's say you're, you've got a lead gen brand, okay? Obviously, I'm in the performance-based model and we um, teach our students to build lead gen brands and then sell, sell the leads to multiple clients, all right? So what, what happens is if you had your lead gen brand, it could be um, Joe, uh, life insurance for men or something like that. And they go through your funnel and they hit the thank you page. Too many people just, just um, create some, they think the job's done at that point. They create some crappy thank you page. Um, which doesn't inform the user um, and they expect the, the, the consumer that goes through the funnel to pick up the phone, all right? There's tools out there um, and we always recommend lead by for, for distribution. So if you are selling to those 10 clients, you can actually put a redirect in, um, which means that there's a thank you page for each individual client that you sell a lead to. So um, you can get them to uh, create a personalized video for the consumer to tell them what happens next, where the phone call's coming from, what's going on. Um, you can do cool stuff like, uh, you know, if you've ever been through a funnel on a bank, you know, that's a painful experience, trust me, but they'll always give you a reference number that you quote when you um, pick up the phone and speak to them. Right, and that adds, you know, people think that that's legitimate if that happens because a bank does it. So what about a lead gen brand? You can create a um, little custom code that pops up on the thank you page that is their unique reference that they um, talk to to skip the queue to speak to an advisor that's gonna help them faster. Okay, that's another another tip. Um, you can add some humor and some personality onto the thank you page. You know, if, if um, no, no, no one likes a, uh, a really boring, dry company to deal with. You know, you see this more and more with with advertising. Is you know, I think you know to give you an example, and it's a, I just popped into my mind then. But I think Elon Elon Musk. Um, uh, you know, instead of calling his uh, chief financial officer a CFO, he called him the master of coin, and he calls himself. Uh, I can't remember what it is, but it's some really amazing, um, really funny name. And this is a huge, one of the most valuable com companies in the world, and they're just rewriting the rules. Just because um, you think it has to be done that way doesn't mean you can't add some personality for your brand and help your, your um, um, clients get the consumer excited about picking up the phone and speaking to them, and you can do all of this on the thank you page. All right, so spend some time there, and you might just find your contact rate um, shoot through the roof and the quality of your leads obviously are gonna get better too. 
Okay, the other thing that you should be kind of checking in for 2022 is to be able to get your badge over at um, Google to become a partner. Um, because, you know, Google is vast. I think uh, if YouTube was a standalone company, it'd be, um, you know, very, uh, like, a, uh, what do you call it, a unicorn or whatever. They're, it's a huge business on its own and it's only going to get bigger. I mean, my kids are on YouTube all the time. It's driving me nuts. I can't get them off it. And um, you see people watching tel um, YouTube on television more. Th that it's just exploding. All right. And then you've got, you know, all of these different types of ad platforms. You've got discovery. You've got um, search. You've got GDN. You've got all of these different platforms. Um, I spoke earlier about trying a new platform. You can do all of this inside of Google. It's just an incredible, incredible business. So if you haven't done so already, take the time to get your certification um, so you can actually, uh, you know, get an account manager, get access to new features as they come in. And you can also use the badge as collateral to kind of land more clients because you're certified. Okay, so if you can take the time um, to do that because it's gonna be worth it in the long run. Okay, the other thing I almost forgot is that the rules are changing for um, to be to get your um, certification in Google uh, in February 2022, um, and not a lot of people know this. And if you've already got a badge and you think you're safe, then I would recommend going over to the Google support or partners area or whatever, and um, figure out what you have to do, because you could lose your your certification and your badge if if you haven't done that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please hit the like button below so we can create more content like this. Uh, if you have any questions at all, just, just type a question in the comments box and we'll get back to you. And the last thing is, um, so you're first to be able to see uh, more content like this when it was once it's created. In the lead gen space, then subscribe to this channel. I'd love you to do that. I'll catch you soon. And just one other thing before I go, if you like the idea of the performance-based model and pay per lead, I have a game plan where I show you how to escape retainer hell with lots of clients doing lots of stuff and being a master of none and uh, moving to the performance-based pay per lead model where you can replace all of that crap with one job only and that is to generate leads. I'll take you through a game plan of how one of my students did it um, and how it's just changed his life. I hope you enjoy it. Click the link in the, I think it's pinned to the comments box and um, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It's free. Go for it.